Hey guys, welcome to another episode of TLA. This week on TLA, I am going to review three particular products that was given to me to try out. Now, if you're new to my channel, I basically do kayak vlogging, do product reviews, and also tutorials. And you can find all those things on my website at www.thelosanchovy.com. So now, I do want a disclaimer that this products have been provided to me to try out and also to do a review. So I want you to know that right off the bat. But that being said, I put them to the test. Now, if you're gonna give me a product to review, you already know that. I use my boat quite a lot and I said, hey, I sent them pictures and I said, this is what my kayak looks like. And it's pretty dirty. And let me tell you why. You guys know that I fish for lingcod, halibut, sturgeon in the delta, and also salmon in the ocean on top of many many different things now when they gave me the products they said that just try them out and I said I need something that can take away deep deep stains on my kayak I'm gonna rate these products based on how well do they get the stains out how well do they clean my kayak without me forcing and doing so much of the work and the muscle behind it because ultimately a product is only as good, and especially cleaning products are only as good as they're able to get things clean but without you putting all the muscle into it. So if they do the heavy lifting, then I think that they're a good product. But at the end of the day, if I feel like I put on a product and I had to put a lot of muscle behind the, my, my cleaning and I'm still doing a lot of leg work, I can do that with regular soap. A good product is one that is able to do the heavy lifting for me. And if it can do that, then I would definitely say that I recommend these products. I took them to, I took them to the test and I went a whole month without cleaning my kayak at all. And I pushed it to the limit. And when you see how deep these things were, I wanted you to see these products can work and get it out. Now, one of these products did work and one of them is actually a game changer. And I'm not gonna tell you which one, watch the whole video and find out which one's a game changer. From the initial assessment of my kayak, you guys can see the deep stains from mud, sand, and dirt. I'm looking for something that will take off those deep ingrained stains and bring my kayak back to when I first got it. The three products today are the Instant Hall Cleaner, Boat Soap, and Boat Eraser. I initially started with the instant hall cleaner and let it set a little bit so that it can start to work out the grease stains and the dirt. A lot of the deep, deep stains were located on the foot area. I'm scrubbing a lot, but it seems like I'm losing the battle here. After the initial wash, I felt I was able to remove a lot of the surface stains, but the deep stains were still very visible. I only have the boat erasers left that could hopefully take out the hard, hard stains. Boat erasers, you need to add a little water and give it a little squeeze to get the active ingredients going. You guys believe this?
This is unreal. You guys see that? All that is taken away. This is amazing stuff, guys. I am I cannot even make this stuff up. These boat erasers are are the ticket to so many things. Look at need to wipe this off, but it's just coming off. I mean this is some this is some this is some serious stuff right here. I did a final wipe down of my kayak with 303 UV marine protection spray. The 303 acts like an armor all and brings back a lot of the shine of the kayak while helping to protect it against the harmful UV rays of the sun. So, I want to get Moose on his take. He has not seen anything I've posted yet. I don't believe he has, but I'm going to see. What does Moose think? All right. Am I cleaned up? Yeah. Honest opinion. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. Considering how dirty it was. <laughs> that was deep. Yeah. What, what, out of, you know, 10. What do you get? it? Like a 8? 7? I say okay. 8. 8? Yeah. So my final thoughts about three products that was given to me, once again, the boat soap, the Insta haul cleaner, and also the boat erasers. Now, let's talk about the first two, the Insta haul cleaner and the boat soap. I think those were, you know, out of 10, I would give those like a seven. I still had to do a substantial amount of work with my muscle in order to pull away all the stains. And they did help me quite a bit, but at the same time, it wasn't a game changer. I don't think it was any other product that could you know you potentially buy on the market but i think it was still good seven out of ten now the game changer product was once again the bolt erasers as you guys have seen and that really got the job done because i've been looking for a product that can get deep 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 into the stains the ones that are deep into my kayak and pull those those heavy stains out without me doing so much of the muscle work and leg work to actually get those out Okay, guys, so I really hope you guys enjoy the episode. Once again, the products were sponsored, but at the end of the day, I always give you my honest review about how I really feel about products, good or bad. Um, I want to be very honest and truthful about the products that are sent to me. Okay, so if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you again next time on another episode of TLA.